Okay guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet. Now we are going to solve this uh, first problem from chapter 10, Hibblestatics. And this problem says that determine the moment of inertia about the x-axis for this blue area. So this edge of the blue area is defined by this y of x function and this length is a and this is b. So we have to write the equation for the moment of inertia about the x-axis. So let's say i of x is equal to uh, y square times dA and we have to integrate this. So now as I have told you people in the previous videos related to chapter 10 that this formula is only applicable when the whole differential strip, the whole dA is located uh, at a distance of y, right? Uh, or in other words, we can say that the differential area that we are going to define needs to be parallel to the x-axis. So this formula is going to be applicable in that particular case. So now let's say if, if this is my area dA, which is parallel to the x-axis, so this formula is applicable. If this is not parallel to this x-axis, if it is perpendicular to this x-axis and you people are interested to find the moment of inertia about the x-axis then we are going to apply the second case that I have already discussed in the previous video then we have to apply the parallel axis theorem. Now I am going to take this uh, differential area which is located at a distance of y from the x-axis and it has a width or we can say that it has a height of dy since this edge of this differential area is parallel to the y-axis, so this will be the small change in y. And this is the, from here to here, this is the width of this differential area. Let me write that this is the width. And this whole strip is located at a distance of y from the x-axis. Mm -hmm. Now, as we know that from here to here, this whole length is A and this end of this differential strip is located at a distance of X. So, this length will be X. So, this is X. So, now if this whole length is A and this is X, so we can say that this width of this differential area will be A minus X. So, let me write that this is A minus X. So now we can write that the dA is equal to this width multiplied by this dy. So the width is A minus x multiplied by dy. So this is the area of this small differential strip which is A minus x times dy. So now I have to write this area in this equation. So this is uh, y square times dA and dA is A minus x times dy and now we have to find the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to b. So we have to add up the moment of inertia of all those differential strips from x equals to 0 until this end where x is equal to b. So we have to integrate this from x equals to uh, from y equals to 0 until y equals to b, right? Since the integration is with respect to y, so the y limits are from y equals to 0 until y equals to b. So we have to integrate this from y equals to 0 until y equals to b. So this is i of x. And as we can see that this integration is with respect to y and here we have x. So we cannot integrate this. So we have to replace this x in terms of y. So we have to uh, rearrange this equation in terms of x. Right, so from this equation, we, we are given that y is equal to b divided by a to the power n into x to the power n. So from this equation, we can write that x to the power n is equal to a to the power n into y divided by b. And if we want to write this x to the power 1, so we have to take the power on both sides as 1 divided by n. So this is to the power of 1 divided by n. So this will become x to the power 1 and this will be equal to a to the power n into 1 divided by n, y to the power 1 divided by n divided by b to the power 1 divided by n. So this n will cancel out so this will be a to the power 1 
So we will have x to the power 1 equal to this. So now I can write that this will be y square a minus, and in terms of x, we have to write this. So this is a y to the power 1 divided by n divided by b to the power 1 divided by n into dy. And now we have to multiply this y square inside. So this will be, let me write it a. So this will be a y square minus a divided by b 1 divided by n y to the power 1 divided by n multiply by that y square. And this is into dy and the integration is from y equals to 0 until y equals to b. So this is i of x. And now if you multiply both of these, so the power will add up. So that is 1 divided by n plus 2. So 1 divided by n plus 2. So this is n, and this is 1, and this is 2n. So this is 1 plus 2n divided by n. Or we can say 2n plus 1 divided by n. So this will become y to the power 2n plus 1 divided by n. Now i of x, now we can integrate this. This will be a y to the power 3 divided by 3 minus a divided by b to the power 1 divided by n and this will be y 2n plus 1 divided by n and we will add 1 to it and we will divide this by the same power so that is 2n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So now we, we can write that 2n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 if we add this so this is n 2n plus 1 and this will be n plus n. So this is 3n plus 1. So this is, we can write that this is 3n plus 1 divided by n. And here we will have 3n plus 1 divided by n. Or we can rearrange this. We can write this in the numerator. So that will be n y divided by 3n plus 1. And the limits are from y equals to 0 until y equals to b. So now we can put that limits, so that is i of x, a divided by 3. So now if I put this limit, so this will be b to the power 3 minus, I can write this n into a, so this is n a divided by b to the power 1 divided by n into, let me write that 3n plus 1 here as well. And this is y, so in, in place of y we have to put b, so this is b to the power 3n plus 1 divided by n. And now if I put 0 in both of these terms, so both of these terms will become 0, so we are left with this. So now this is a divided by 3. Now this is uh, b 3n plus 1. So we can write this 3n plus 1 divided by n. So we can split this. We can write this as 3n divided by n plus 1 divided by n. So this will cancel out. So this will be 3 plus 1 divided by n. So we can split this power. So this is, we can write this as 3 plus 1 divided by n, b to the power 3 plus 1 divided by n. Or we can write this as b to the power 3, b to the power 1 plus 1 divided by n. So now if we multiply both of these, so power will add up. So we will get that same 3 plus 1 divided by n. So now we can see that this, and this they are going to cancel. So we are left with this. Now we as we can see that a b to the power 3 we can take that outside so we can write that we can take that common so this is a b to the power 3 and this is 1 divided by 3 minus n divided by 3 n plus 1. And now we can take an LCM this is a b to the power 3 and this will be 3 into 3n plus 1. And here we will have 3n plus 1 minus 3n. So 3n is going to cancel out. And we are left with 1 divided by 3 into 3n plus 1. So I can write the moment of inertia of this area about the x-axis is, is equal to a b to the power 3 divided by 3 into 3n plus 1. So this is the moment of inertia of this blue shaded area which is given about the x-axis. 
So this is the solution of this first problem from chapter 10. Let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet. And like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibler statics.